Redmond, which of course calls itself Flag City USA, had its grand traditional 4th of July parade today. It was filled with flags, red, white, and blue, and crowds celebrating America's 246th birthday. Flag City USA always goes big for the 4th. Alongside, after the parade, parents and kids went out to the High Desert Sports Complex for this. There's nothing like a day out with the kids on the 4th, and this field was the place to be. Two bounce castles and human hamster balls were the big draw. There were some more traditional games, though, like a two-legged race. Giant checkers, Jenga, and Connect Four. We asked parents why it was important to do things as a family on the 4th. So we talk about how important it is that our soldiers and all the people who fight for our country and our freedom, yeah. and we come out to celebrate them, and then we also have fun having fun with the family. They're still pretty young. Uh, I have a six and a two and a half year old, so uh, talking about just that this was sort of the birth of the country and uh, of our freedom and, and things like that. Uh, just trying to get all the sort of family fun stuff we can do in one day. And also for the older kids, there were some BMX excursions you could sign up for. That's a three-legged race, by the way. Sun River had its own festivities today. The village was transformed into a massive 4th of July party with all sorts of fun for kids. There were games and karaoke along with some Sun River staples like the rock climbing tower and miniature locomotive. We asked the kids what they thought of it. I've been enjoying the bungee jump thing and the bounce house. Where we live, there's not a lot of festive people around, but I like it here because like everyone's wearing red, white, and blue supporting the country. I'm enjoying all the carnival rides and the food, and the food's really good, so yeah. Well, it's great. To, uh, after all the cruddy weather, it's nice to have all this sun, bouncy castles, so many people here. It's nice dunk tanks. Everybody's having fun. It's a great time. Well, there was a pony ride. One Fourth of July tradition was missing. There was no Sun River bike parade this year. No word off that event will return. And, of course, there was the Freedom Ride in Bend. A mass crowd packed into Pioneer Park to pregame before the ride. Before they got on their bikes, we asked folks what they were riding for this year. Our body, our choice. Yeah. yeah we're Women's married. right to choose, uh, the right to choose in general. Mm -hmm. um, those who have uteruses should be able to have abortions, um, and it's really messed up that we currently don't. We are riding for the four Fs, family, fun, farm, and freedom. Each year, nearly 1,000 people in Bend make the rowdy 4th of July ride from Pioneer Park to Drake Park. Tonight we want to know, did you stay in or did you go out and celebrate your 4th of July weekend? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. You can vote on previous polls on our polls page. You'll find that under the News tab.